What's up, guys? It's Connor from Text Choice. We're back again with another Talking Tools podcast with Text Choice. Today, we decided to bring Drew on. But, guys, we're going to be talking about new Milwaukee stuff, Lyle. We love Lyle. We're going to talk about some fun, exciting things that we have coming from Milwaukee. So, y'all stay tuned. Guys, we're back and check it out. It is Tuesday morning. This is literally before we actually go run our route. So the last few podcast style, because I believe this is episode three, right? It is. Episode it is. three, we uh, podcast style. We've been uh, on the way to the lake on a Friday or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty laid back. We those. cracked a couple beers before mm-hmm. we actually, you know, on Friday when we get ready to take off work. But today we're cracking coffee. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, or Celsius, whatever. So uh, hey, guys, we're 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 here to just talk about tool business and what's kind of going on in the industry and and uh, um, let you know what's kind of happened in the last week and what's happened in the last week is uh, some vendors have been reaching out and uh, kind of asking us to sell some of their product like uh, I got a call last night from STS remember the battery mounts oh, yeah. that we put on the actual bottom of the batteries that had the magnets we kind of went stagnant on that because we haven't done a video for them in a while and we want to do another video, but guys, we've been trying to bring you guys some different, some different stuff through YouTube and through TikTok and Instagram. And if you're not following us, run over there to Instagram and do at Text Choice or do TikTok at Text Choice also. Text and, Choice uh, Tools. Text Choice Tools. Sorry. So, uh, but we've been trying to bring you some different stuff. Like we brought you like some fluke meters. We but we tried to bring Redback into the scene because we found Redbacks. Redbacks are super hard to find. And, uh, yeah, that was a crazy one. We y'all, I never got to sell Redbacks when I was on the truck three years ago, but then everyone talked about Redback, so I didn't really know what Redback was. Yeah, me and Matt used to sell them before, well, <laughs> right before COVID, if you guys remember, there was a forest fire in Australia, and Redbacks were made in Australia. <laughs> and uh, so they had their plant shut down for like three months before COVID, and then COVID hit. And I mean, we I were. I thought it was something that had to do with the military. Like um, Australian I think military or something. They militarized COVID, the they... kangaroos in Australia, <laughs> and they were having issues with yeah. them. So <laughs> maybe uh, we finally got them back in, which is awesome because uh, I think the only place you could get them from before was either online through the A store or uh, an M vendor on the route, and they were about double the price. So it's crazy. We have to buy Redbacks. We're not going to tell you where we buy them from, but we have to get our red backs from one place and we have to get our red back belts from another. So we can't get both from one place. We have to buy them from uh, two different locations. But hey, whatever it takes to get you guys that, that deal, if you are a red back wearer or you like those or you want to see more of those, were they still toe or composite toe last They're night? They're steel toe. Okay. Still Somebody toe. got on there and I said, is this a composite toe? Is this a steel toe? But. Um, I thought I said steel toe on it because I think it says ST on the end of the part number. So Yeah, um, so the difference, they, they make three different ones. I don't think we can get the composite toes yet, but they're about to bring them in. But these are, you can tell that they're the steel toe because of that. You can see the toe, the toe part like raised on the steel toe. That's a toe cap thing. Yeah, the, the toe cap, is pretty nice that's the steel toe. The composite toe just looks like the soft toe. Yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah. Then you got to buy that little crazy cap that you glue on the end of that, which Jerry needs one yep, of those over his press oil yeah. change. So, he asked for that. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah, we brought you guys that. We brought you the fluke meter. You guys went crazy bad on the uh, comments on that. We did sell about five. You know, we didn't sell a lot. You know, it was, uh, I mean, it's an expensive meter, but you know, one thing about Fluke is it's a made in the USA product. I didn't even know it was a lifetime warranty product. No. And I did not know that Fluke actually holds all of the calibration equipment for anybody that might want to get their meter properly calibrated like other companies calibrated. So they, if they come up with a meter, they actually work with Fluke and pay them to calibrate their meters to their exact standard. So, I mean, that's what it said online on Google. So, if it, so the ESI multimeter yeah. usually is going to be tested by Fluke to make yeah, sure it's, it's gonna, all calibrated. So that's one of those tools that you pass down, you that's know, crazy. like your, your grandkid or yeah, whatever. They're 20 year tools. Around, you know? Yeah, they're 20-year 20, 20 tools. So, th- 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 yes, a Fluke is like, uh, somebody left a great comment on there. It said, buy once, cry once. I think that pretty much sums it up. Yep. You buy it, you're going to be in it. One thing about Fluke is it's the industry industry standard for all the manufacturers. So uh, GM, now somebody, somebody else chimed in and said that it's a Fluke 87. If you want to buy an 87, it's a lot less money. 
but the guys at Toyota and the guys at Honda that uh, actually go to the Honda school and the Toyota school, mm -hmm. they always come back and they say, hey, man, you need to refer back to your Fluke 88-5. So uh, that's one reason we brought that to you because it's specifically an automotive meter. Yeah. It's not anything meant for an electrician or anything like that. But um, Drew, what's, uh, let's change gears a little bit because we don't really want to bore you. But Drew, what's been selling right. on your freaking truck this week? Pest coolers. Oh man. my gosh. So uh, here in Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, it's been mighty hot. Like, I think I looked at the dash the other day on the truck and it was like 102. And uh, if you guys don't know what a Hess cooler is, same same uh, setup as a Porter cool. It's a swamp cooler. You put water in, it pumps it to the top, filters it down through these filters in the, uh, in the unit. And there's a fan that sucks in air, pushes it through the other side, water runs, or the air runs through the water and drops it. 10, 15 degrees. Uh, you do get a little bit of humidity with it, but if you're in a open shop or where you got a bay door open, you don't really have to worry about it. And man, it will make a difference. Actually, I've been having a lot of luck selling these things in an air conditioning shop because air conditioning is basically pulling the humidity out of the air through the condenser and it actually drains the humidity out of the air. But the guys that have these air conditioning shops in my route in Franklin, uh, I have a hard time selling them because almost every shop I go to is Yeah, air I think I have like maybe three or four shops. He's, he goes to the, the richer part of Tennessee. Yeah, I'm in the bougie part. Uh, right? Us <laughs> down here in Murfreesboro, you know, we're lucky to have running water in our shop. So, <laughs> no. Uh, but, I mean, not just to cool you off, but it, let's say, you know, how many times have you guys got a waiter in and you got to do uh, something, a valve cover gasket or something. Throw that guy in front of the car, and it's going to cool it off real quick, save you some time, make you some more money. So yeah, so fans, Hess coolers, the KTI fans. Tons I mean, KTI we've been fans. blowing those things out of the water. Uh, M18 fans. M18 fans, guys. It's 95 degrees today in Tennessee, and uh, it just amazes me how many how many fans we actually sell. We just had a pallet, and we actually had a pallet. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. wasn't fake. A it was a pallet. true pallet. You There's saw it on TikTok. Thirty Fools. freaking fans on one pallet. We had a pallet <laughs> delivered. It wasn't a thousand. It didn't come from Japan either, unfortunately. <laughs> it was a third 30 fans. And right over there, we have about eight. So it's about time yeah, to reorder those. Out. But we got some exciting stuff coming up and we're heading to where? We're gonna be heading to the three of us and all of our wives and fiance and everyone. We're moving, not moving. We are traveling to Florida. <laughs> yeah, we're not moving to Florida. We're going to Florida for a tool show. Um, this is the most people we've ever had at a tool show yeah. in the history of texture. Yeah, it's a it's pack. a lot. We have like nine of us. Yeah, it's a, we have a we're we're gonna take up a whole table. Normally we don't have that problem. Yeah, um, but we will be a there. Reserve table. A reserve table. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. If you didn't reserve your seat at ISN up until last week, you probably aren't gonna get a great seat. So. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so we'll be there. Um, that's the week of the 10th, and we're going to be golfing. We'll be, well, me and Matt are going to golf. Drew has a wife and child that he has to bring, so he's coming down a little bit later. Um, but he'll be down there, and then we'll have some fun on Wednesday, and then Thursday we'll have some fun, and then... We're driving to the tool show on <laughs> yeah. Tuesday, so anybody that lives through, like, Macon, Georgia, maybe the Valdosta, anything going down south from Tennessee to Orlando and you need a big heavy jack or you need this toolbox or you need that toolbox or this toolbox, we'll bring it to you for free. Yeah, we'll you drop it off. We're gonna do some uh, returns and stop by the Atlanta warehouse and uh, drop off some of the stuff that um, we don't need. That we, we just don't need. We, we get, we, our sales guy sometimes, I believe he knows we're an open checkbook, so he just sends us some stuff, which we You're love it. You drive the truck and trailer too, not the minivan, right? Oh no, it's I'm driving the Dodge diesel truck down there, so. We haven't decided about trailer situation ah. yet. Yeah. Uh, but if you do need a 10 ton jack, um, yeah. we'll yeah. gladly drop it off and to we'll you. We'll sell it cheaper than, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make it $300 cheaper than you can buy it anywhere on the yeah. internet. And it's not some, Harbor Freight brand. It, no. It's, no. it's a Sun high X. quality Sun X. Yeah. So you're going to be able to get that. If you need the jacks to go with it, we got those too. Yeah, so. one's picked up a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's heavy. So no. we're going to the tool show, and we've had a pretty good blast of uh, sales during the month of June. And I looked at the records this uh, this morning. And last June just blew it out of the water. But what what happened last year? That one, the tool show was the tool show was pretty big for us. We did a lot of content stuff. There was new stuff released, but it was the insider ratchet, 100%. Mm. We started the pre-sale 
super early on that one because y'all know if you pre-ordered one from us it took us about two to three months to get them but uh we did that video and i think we probably sold 100 within the first day i remember we went to the tool show shot the video friday saturday morning we walked in and we showed that milwaukee people were like hey we already have 100 sold um we're gonna need upper order so and then we ended up taking three months to get them but we had 100 150 sold that weekend yeah. before we even got home so yeah. that was a crazy video for inside us. a ratchet was a little bit of a tra tragedy because hmm. they came out with it we they we supplied all the people right up front then they went on back order then we had people mad at us and then the sa sae socket the standard socket saga that was that was crazy but guys that's all over with it's been a year that uh, connor and i have seen some new prototype stuff that's coming to the insider ratchet and we can't really talk about it right now, but there's some neat things that are gonna make it where your sockets don't come out of the inside of Ratchet. So they have done some improvements to it and they're changing it. I don't know what day we can release that, but uh, we do have some more tools coming up that we can release on the 27th. Yeah, so later this week, we will be posting some stuff from the show that we went to, uh, what was that, May? I guess yeah. it was early May, we went to that show and we will be, posting all those lights and all that fun stuff a lot of lights. Um, out there. But if you have anything else y'all wanna see, we're gonna be having even more stuff here in about two weeks at the Tool Show. There's some few product releases that they're gonna be dropping there. And Pipeline is literally starting in two days. So the 27th, pipeline? no, I'm not going ah. to Pipeline. Um, they don't let sellers go into Pipeline. Yeah, but uh, we're like a hybrid. We're like an influencer slash sales yeah. guy. Speaking of that last night, Oh. Jared was telling me from STS about how easy it is to gain followers. Like, Nick to Tools R Us. Like that guy. Like that guy a lot. He's doing great. He's got a great following. He's he's growing and growing and growing. But, Connor, what do you think it is for someone that's influencing in tools versus someone that's actually selling tools? Is it easier or harder? Oh, it's 100% harder if you're the salesperson because people, different people like different sales styles. Um, but, Influencer wise, all you got to do is you're not running like, yes, what they do is a great thing, but you got to run a business too when you're doing the sales side and predict inventory and all that. But I, like I you said, people, we're I a hybrid. People, I think people trust the influencer more than they do someone that's selling tools because yeah, if, if we have, professional if, mechanic. Yeah, right. If we've ever come across and our main goal is to always gain your trust, just like our Koken video that we did of uh, the previous video right before this one. If you hadn't watched it, you should go check it out because there was a little turmoil out there in the <laughs> social media world about Coke and Tools. fake news. Yeah, fake news. Donald Trump. Right. So the uh, uh, fake news out there about Coke and, and we kind of just wanted to set the record straight and tell about it. And our name getting to be on the true list of authorized dealers was uh, cool. substantial for yeah, us yeah. because uh, we did that video. We had a hellacious amount of orders come in from Coke and Tools. We're gonna to be doing more of those, and we're also gonna be doing a lot of Grip Edge because what showed up yesterday? A very large order from Grip Edge. Whoa. Yeah, like came in. double what I thought it was gonna like, be. Like, I had to redo the entire, <laughs> it was double what Matt yeah. thought it was. It was double what I thought too, because there was a problem with the spreadsheet and it didn't calculate it correctly. But um, yeah, I mean, Drew, you can see that oh, stuff yeah. over there. We cleared out two shelves full of Milwaukee to put grip edge up and I still have grip edge and guys check our check our prices on the grip edge stuff too I guarantee we're extremely competitive if you get what I mean compared to anyone else out there or any other brand rebranded grip edge item uh, if you catch my drift so but yeah. we'll also be able to get it because we're exactly not, we're not shut off from grip and edge. warranty it <laughs> right right too. so we if you buy from us, Grip Edge, I don't know if they have an authorized dealer list, but we might want to check and find out if they if they actually. I bet have we could give them to make one. Yeah, uh, they probably have an authorized dealer list, and I'm, I, I guarantee you we're on it. Yeah. Promise you that much. So Grip Edge, Koken, a lot of things like that coming to you guys. Our bread and butter is really Milwaukee, but Milwaukee don't stop because of stuff like this right here. They send us the Q3 promotions before they ever actually even before they actually even hit the road, and these promotions are good for about two and a half months and there's a lot of good promotions in there. I believe really Milwaukee's pretty much giving away a battery for every freaking oh, yeah. tool on the market. I mean, they have a lot of buy, buy this tool, get this tool, buy this tool, Two get batteries. that tool. 
We will probably take some uh, time to post what these promotions are on Instagram. Just throw them on our story, let you check them real quick. If it's something you're interested in, we'll look at your comments and then we'll promote that thing, you know? So there's rivet gun deals in there. There's uh, buy two batteries, get about seven or eight different tools, whichever tool you want for free. So uh, Milwaukee is our is our big thing and, and, and Easy Red uh, came strong with a new tool this week too that we did a video on. Oh, we had a lot of guys on the route mad that and uh, it Connor did. sold them all. And it did really, really well. So We have more on the way. Our buddy uh, Luke, Luke from uh, Easy Red, we, uh, we didn't forecast that right. And guys, there was a tiny little back order on that, but it's just not really a back order. It's a matter of having to get it shipped. Yeah. So we're... Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're gonna fulfill those back orders as, fa as fast as possible. Nothing will be as bad as the insider ratchet, but no. it's gonna be probably four or five days. So one uh, thing before we keep moving on, the Milwaukee stuff. So we have all the Milwaukee deals. They like 90% of them have been posted on the website. They haven't been released on Instagram. It's gonna be a little bit different. So normally we just have it built into the promo, but since there's so many free items you can choose from, what you have to do, you have to buy the kit that you're wanting. So if you want to buy the two batteries, you're going to have to buy the two batteries, put that in your cart, and then you just add your free tool and it automatically discounts that. So it's a little different than how we've done it in the past on our website, but it's going to be the easiest way for us to handle all the different mix and matches that you're able to do. Maybe have a little tutorial video. Yeah, I'll probably pop up website. a little on the Instagram to let you all know how to do it. Um, just so... It's very clear. Like all the bare tools that you buy and you get a free battery, it's normal. It's just automatically going to add it. But like when you buy the kits and then you have five different tool options, it's not easy to post. Because when you do that, that one product has to have six different products. So you can't do that. It makes it too complicated. So this is a new way. We're going to try it, see if y'all can figure it out. If you can't figure it out, then we probably we'll won't do it that way. Ways. But um, one of those deals is this guy right here. If Drew wants to talk about that. Brand new. Brand all right, new. guys. So... Some people call this a Dremel. Some people call this a rotary tool. I personally have one of the original ones that I bought years and years ago. Um, but this is the new revamp. So this guy's 2,750 RPM. 2,750 RPM. 27,500. 30% more than what it was before. But enough about that. So it's strong for a Dremel. You can might use this as a cutoff tool. I mean, you know, whatever. But as you can see, this guy's got a pretty cool uh, new uh, power level indicator. Um, it's got a nice quick disconnect chuck compared to the other one. You had to bring the tool out there, do all that we'll good stuff. We'll do some B-roll on that because you move around right Oh, fast. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but it's a little bit more heftier in the hand than the other one was. Uh, it's got a nice grip on it. But the power control is super duper sweet on this thing. One so. of the one of the big things about that tool that makes it so different, the old one was a brush tool. Oh yeah, it's brushless. It's brushless. That's the big thing. The motor inside is brushless. And uh, one last key feature is the lock mechanism on the end. Yeah, you don't have lock. to have any tools to switch yeah. out the, the end. It's a toolless lock now, which is pretty mm -hmm. awesome. No I know, more two uh, wrenches. I know some of the other, uh, the, the Dremel brand one had that for a little bit and Milwaukee finally uh, caught up with that and it is it's pretty nice man it's pretty amazing and it's crazy that tool literally got released this time last year at pipeline they released that tool at pipeline last year and that's the first yeah. batch i walked in. in this morning saw it and i was like oh what is this and also guys um this is the kit version in the box but the kit's going to come with your uh batteries your charger your bag like normal but it's also going to come with the arbor and some cutoff wheels because i saw a lot of these guys on the truck the uh the first gen and uh I was going to sell an arbor with it and cut off wheels and then I run out of that. Then the guy's stuck with just the tool and has to go somewhere else to get it. So that's pretty awesome that they've included it with the kit. So And with that kit, I don't know the price of it off the top of my head. I can't remember. But you buy that, you are going to get a free tool. So you can either get a 3 8 non-fuel uh, brushed ratchet. You can get a light. You can get a brushed oh. um, multi-tool or a 90-degree drill. And it's also got a light on the front nose yeah, of it, which is new. pretty awesome. That's pretty new. New stuff like that showing up all the time. I got to give a big shout out to John, Bob, and Eddie over there at Lyle Corporation. They literally put us on a list to send us everything new. They have a slack adjuster rod pin press. I mean, uh, guys, we haven't done a video of this. I literally got this this week. They gave us this cool creeper air freshener, which is uh, neat. I heard they smell really, really good. And these are axle nut sockets for nine pin for GM. If you've been looking for that, this is a brand new tool 
tool that's out. So this has your nine pin with your half inch drive on there to release that locking nut on the rear axle of a GM. And if GM's not your thing, this is one here is for Dodge. This thing has some crazy points on it, man. This thing's got like oh, yeah. 12 different pins on it. So this is 12 different pins for a Dodge. So Dodge apparently with you 3,500 trucks and bigger, uh, 3,500, 4,500, and 5,500 trucks that have a 12-pin adapter on the back of this, right? Or 12-pin locking nut on the back of your axle. We now have the sockets available for you. So, guys, we do a lot of promotions on TikTok, but don't get it wrong. Drew and I are tool guys every single day. So, if you come to us looking for a uh, timing tool for a 3.5 EcoBoost and you a need a, non, a turbo or a non-turbo, <clears throat> we have that or we have, we, we've seen that or you need the, uh, you know, the harmonic balancer puller that's got the long shaft for doing the Fords and the GMs, you know, we have that too or the harmonic oh, balancer for the 5.4s and the Hemis. I'm not trying to flex and tell you all the, the knowledge that we got, but I got 24 years instead of this and Drew's probably got like six or seven, but we are tool guys that promote things, but we actually are tool men that know this job every day. If you haven't seen any of our trucks, go back and watch previous videos. Our trucks are pretty freaking stacked. Uh, this is a brake clevis pin, uh, press pin. Um, this is another heavy duty tool, uh, a 45, 850. So I just want to give a shout out to Bob and John because they always take care of us. They have a brand new tool coming. The hottest tool that they ever sold in 2023 and 2024. It is about to be revamped and there is a new version coming out and it is actually going to kickstart the, uh, it's going to kickstart the industry pretty well. I think they sold somewhere around... I don't know. I think they said they sold around 180,000 of those um, are we getting the electrical plugs, disconnects. And we're supposed to get one pretty fast. I'm actually going to make a phone call after we get off this. Uh, thank you, Bob, for buying a Milwaukee fan from us. Lyle actually <laughs> If we buys... don't get it by the tool show, it well, might I... come with us back from the tool show. Yeah. In L a backpack. I think or... the tool's done. They just don't have the packaging finished. Ah. Yeah. So the tool's done. That's that. the last I heard. They have samples. They're telling us they're sending them to us, but they don't want to send us to us until the packaging's done. But Bob bought a fan from us just yesterday, Good. and we mailed it to him. It was for his own personal, but I mean, I've sold Lyle Corporation air compressors. Oh, yeah. I've sold them under hood lights. M18 I've sold generators. I've sold them, yeah, I've sold them all kind of things uh, because we're friends, all right? So we're friends. I do them a solid. They do us a solid. So if you're not following Lyle, Lyle, Bob is the one that does the TikToks, and he is the guy that's always the voice behind the animation and when they show all that. So he's a really, really good guy. So go over there and give Lyle Corporation a good follow. Definitely on their TikTok and their Instagram. They're probably the most down-to-earth oh, yeah. company yeah. I've ever met, man. They're, they're Great super dudes. awesome. And going back to them being tool men, so like, I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. Oh, we're I'm not picking O'Connor. Oh, no, no, I'm just, no, I'm just saying this in general. I kind of know what I'm talking about, but there's some stuff I have no idea. And that's when I have to call on one of these two. And last Friday was one of those situations that tool for the eco boost or whatever. I, yeah, eco boost. Uh, we're sitting in the office and I'm like, uh, let me ask Matt. And Matt's like, yeah, that's the right one. Well, we don't have one here. And so it's a 37 two thirty. Yeah. It was like five o'clock last Friday. Drew's probably about wrapping up his route, all that stuff. And I'm like, the gentleman hey, uh, was let about me call 45 Drew. minutes away and <laughs> called me and it was four fifty and, uh, He's like, hey man, you got this. And sure enough, I had it and I had, I had one on the truck. And uh, I, I, was a, I was a nice guy. I'm that was the, him, but... That's the service you get yeah. being a tool truck guy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I did kind of feel bad because I know Drew was probably ready to wrap up the week. And I was like, nah. hey, we needed, we needed this guy. He's a, he was a good customer. Apparently, He's no one else customer. had it in the zip code. So I'm yeah. glad I well, had it. Well, apparently, Drew him. saved your ass last week, too, because apparently you locked your keys in your car. Oh, I yeah. I did do that. I did that mm -hmm. on last Thursday. I yeah. played a locksmith and last week. And Drew had to drive him. across town on company time and company gas. To come unlock your privately. So I think you owe me. I think you owe me. I'll fill up your gas ticket. I think you owe me twenty dollars. Yeah, okay. It would have cost you two hundred from the locksmith to get that done. And How long did it take me to get in there? And I think you used my tool. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, it was Drew's tool. It's Drew's personal tool. But um, uh, literally, I didn't know this. I have fun fact about Drew. Drew used to be a locksmith, so he time. literally, he literally got there and it was like pop, thirty seconds max. Yeah. I waited like 20 minutes because he was all the way across town. I'm like, oh, it's going to take another 10 minutes for him to probably get in this thing. He was like, boom, pop. All right, peace out, dude. And it was like 30 seconds. So yeah. apparently you can make a lot of money doing that too. Yeah. Being a locksmith. Yeah, you so, can get whatever you want to around Christmas time. Right around so the buy a lock for 100 bucks from us and make 100 bucks or for a spring car. car. 
Yeah, so, buy a lockout or spring punch. <laughs> or spring punch. <laughs> yeah, you can get whatever you need. But uh, yeah. guys, we really appreciate you guys watching and sticking through. I, let us know if you like this style. A lot of you guys said you did like this style. It's not generally what I like, but if you like it, we'll continue <laughs> it going. I mean, uh, uh, Connor seems to like this style. It seems to be a little e easier to edit. But if you like to know kind of some personal, you know, stories, war stories back and forth, we'll bring you more. Uh, obviously, if you want to see the sham wow guy and the high pressure dude, you need to go on over to TikTok because it's literally or every Thursdays. day. Or Thursdays. <laughs> That's when we generally get into the meat. And we'll try to do another one probably for Thursday and uh, not to start any drama. We're just there to like. We're just here to share the product. Tell you the product, yeah. okay? We're not trying to get into. Yeah, we're not trying to get stuff. into all the drama and all that. But the only reason really why we started this was because we're doing a bunch of exclusive social media stuff at this tool show with right. vendors. So you're going to see a lot of, we keep calling it a deep dive, but when we go to the tool show, it's going to be the same concept. It's going to be a deep dive video with vendors about their products because at these tool shows, they have almost every product out. So you can talk about any tool that you want to, and we're gonna be doing exclusive interviews with, with owners and stuff. With owners mm -hmm. and the big higher ups in the industry. Um, so we're gonna be talking to Grip Edges, Milwaukee people, um, we're, Gear uh, Wrench, we're uh, all those Vac. different people, Mighty Vac. We're, we have a whole list of people that we are supposed to talk to and we're going to be doing different interviews some are going to have smaller interviews and compiled together than others are going to have like milwaukee since there's so much to talk about they'll probably have their own standalone video but it's going to be a lot of a lot of content coming up here in the next upcoming month or so and we're going to be even shooting podcasts with them yeah and let's do a 10-hour youtube on the way down to florida that's that should be a really long one if you guys think you could follow us for 10 hours Let's just go live. We'll put Matt's yeah. phone up on live and we'll yeah. just be live streaming. I'll get some extra batteries ordered day, from Amazon. So. So. Yeah. Huh? So I'll be running the route that day. Yeah. So, so Drew will be on a plane. We'll be in a truck. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to us and watching this. And uh, like I said, the biggest thing you can ever do for us that helps us out is to give us a comment or maybe a like or a follow. I don't know how subscribe. to subscribe, go to the bell, do something like that. Get the notifications if you like this style. A lot of you guys aren't on TikTok or Instagram, and this is the only way that you get to see us. Yeah, we got a lot of YouTube But we have around. a lot of different products that we get. TikTok's really not that bad, man. A lot of people thought it was going to be canceled. I but, was against it in the beginning, but it's not. and I talked to a bunch of my, my guys on the route, and young guys, middle-aged guys, and I'm like, hey, man, you guys follow us on TikTok. And for me, it benefits me that some of them don't because they get <laughs> mad at the prices that y'all get online compared to what I have to sell it on the truck for. But uh, most of the guys are like, no, I follow you guys on YouTube. But if you guys want to keep up with what's going on Daily. day to day, day TikTok's to day. the way to go, man. Even if you only follow us and a couple, you know, Tool Puerto members. Rican models or something, it's okay. You know? Yeah, right. So we got to end it, man. Tell them bye. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for watching our podcast. We really appreciate all y'all's business. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.